All right, you guys, it's 4.30. It's time to get this class going so we can end on time. Welcome to Absent Core. My name is Coach Luis Morales, health and specialist with Exos at Autodesk, here to take you through abs and core today here on a Tuesday afternoon. Now, what we're going to be getting into today is a two-part workout, very similar parts, basically the same structure split in two. What we're going to be doing is through uh, EMOM intervals. So basically every minute on the minute, we're going to shift to doing something else. Part of that minute will be a rest and transition period. So the entire workout, we're going to be working on 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest and transition. Now for part one, what we're going to be doing, we're gonna start with bridge marching, we're gonna do some crunches and then primal press. We're gonna repeat that three times before going into part two. Let me go ahead and show you what the bridge marching crunches and primal press are going to look like. So we're gonna start on our backs, bridge marching, essentially <clears throat> heels are driving into the ground, the toes are up. So we're gonna tighten the core even before we push those hips up. Glutes are gonna be pushing the hips up. We're then going to leave all our weight basically in one leg, holding ourselves up by that glute and that hamstring, and then drive the other leg while keeping that knee bent. So this is going to be a big challenge for the core as well as one side of the hips at a time here. We want to keep it nice and stable through the front. So make sure this you're not seesawing back and forth, not a whole lot of twisting going on. Core has got to be really tight. And remember, with that bridge, we don't have to have the hips all the way up here. It does not have to be a straight line from my knee basically to my face. Most of us with the core tight will kind of lock in right about there. Slight bend of the hips, glutes still squeezed, extended almost into neutral. Next, we're gonna stay on our backs and just do some crunches. So this is gonna be a tough one, trying to keep the feet planted here with nothing holding us down. All we're trying to do is peel up as much upper back as we can up off the ground, using all those muscles here in front. I also like to think about crushing something under the low back and we don't wanna use our arms to compensate. Nice deep breath, nice exhale. We can really hop into those muscles here up front. Again, we only want quality reps. So if you can only do a few at a time and then rest, I recommend going and doing that. Lastly, our primal presses is where we're gonna be on our hands and our knees. Knees planted on the hips, hands planted on the shoulders. We're just gonna drive down through those palms, through those toes. And we're just going to hang out there, staring contest with the ground, keeping our spine nice and neutral. So we're going to do three rounds of that and then jump straight into part two. Part two, we're going to start with a hollow ISO. This one's super fun. Basically, we're going to use that core to lock our entire back onto the ground. Oh, did it just freeze? No. All right, guys. So with that hollow position, that's going to be in part two here. The hollow position is basically us on our backs. We're gonna get those legs up and straight, arms out, up overhead as well. We're gonna lower those legs into a position where it's really challenging to keep our low back on the ground, but again, not as challenging as to where it's gonna pull us off. We're gonna feel like we're gonna have to rest those legs every few seconds. So again, this might look different for everybody, but the goal here is to use the core keeping the back glute to the ground and just basically staying static with the legs and the arms straight extended away from each other. So that's the first exercise of our part two there. We're gonna stay on our backs after that, doing some heel taps. So again, similar concept, using the core to lock that low back into the ground. We're gonna start with those hips flexed, knees bent. And what we're gonna do here is just move one hip at a time, bringing the heel down to kiss the ground and then coming right back up. Now, as we move through this, we're basically going to want everything on the low back to stay nice and solid glued to the ground. Shouldn't be any shifting, shouldn't feel the back come up off the ground at all at any point. And then finally, last thing for part two, what we're gonna do is some plank with rotation. So we have a couple options here. We can either do this all the way from the toes or you can plank from the knees. Now, if we're planking from the knees here, you guys, we still want a nice tight core, almost a nice straight line from our knees to our head. And as we rotate, we're not gonna really be able to open up those hips as much, but do your best to keep that core nice and tight, rotate as much as possible. 
And again, for the full version, we're gonna be all the way up here in our high plank, shifting our weight, opening those hips up. Core is nice and tight, just basically keeping our body in a nice straight line, doing the best we can, rotating and reaching up towards the ceiling and alternating. So that's gonna be our workout here today, guys. Part one, the bridge march, the crunches, the primal press. Part two, the hollow, the heel taps, and the plank with rotation. I'll be walking us through as we go into this workout. Three rounds of each part gonna give us that 18 minutes of work. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. All we're gonna need here today, guys, is just some space on the ground and make sure you guys got some water nearby as well. Wanna stay hydrated, even if it's not particularly warm where you are at today. All right, so we're down here on our backs. What we're going to do is just start with some heel taps. So this is one of my favorites as a corrective, as a spine health thing, just as an exercise too. If you do 30 of these, your core will be on fire. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a nice deep breath. On our exhale, we're gonna push all of that air out, keep pushing till we feel all of those muscles around our midsection contract. We're pushing that low back into the ground. Let's keep that tension there. We're gonna bring those hips up, bent at the knees. The knees are gonna stay bent like this. Then we'll start to alternate, bringing one heel towards the ground at a time, barely letting it touch the ground before we bring it back up into that starting position. Remember to breathe during this here, you guys. Takes a while to get down, but keeping that core tight and being able to breathe. Big key to success here. Let's do one more each side. Well done, all right, let's relax those legs. Good job, everybody, good job. All right, next up, we're gonna come onto our hands into a plank position, essentially. We're gonna do a little plank to pike, just a couple reps here to get those shoulders warmed up and get that core ready for our kind of planking variations that we see at the end of each part. So once we get there, let's push those hips up towards the ceiling. We're gonna push our head through the gap in the arms, lock those shoulders up or out, I should say, overhead. And then let's come back to our plank. Nice and solid, nice straight line from the head to the heels. Core is tight, the shoulders are in our back pocket. Let's do one more rep. Well done, you guys. Let's come right back down into that spot. Way to find that, get the shoulders away from the ears, and then we can drop a knee down and rest. Well done, everybody. Okay, time for me to get the timer set up. What I'm gonna do, Give us about 18, put it about 18 minutes on the clock, and then we'll go ahead and get started with part one. There we go. All right, everybody. So again, our intervals today, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest and transition. That is going to stay the same throughout the workout. And so as we get towards the last round of part one, we're just going to add 15 seconds before we jump head first into part two in that hollow ISO, three rounds each part. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our bridge marching and crunches. So we're on our backs here to start. We're gonna go in three, two, one, here we go. All right, guys, so <clears throat> that bridge marching, big emphasis as we get into that starting position is just driving the heels into the ground. As you guys can see, my toes are up. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes to bring my hips up to the appropriate height and then start marching. So don't forget about that core. We gotta keep it really tight. Controlling the transfer of weight between these two hips, big glute squeezes as we go. Good job, you guys, good job. Keeping it nice and even through the front of those hips. Core is tight, almost done. And time, let's let those hips down. We're gonna stay here on our backs as we got the crunches coming up next. Good job, everyone. A couple deep breaths, got a few seconds left. Let's plant those whole feet all the way onto the ground. We're gonna keep them there. We're gonna start our crunches, three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, just trying to isolate those kind of tummy muscles right here in front. Pulling the upper back up off the ground as much as we can and simultaneously crushing a water balloon under that low back. Good job, you guys, good job. Remember the goal here is to string together quality reps. So if that's two or five at a time, so be it. Give yourself a little bit of a standard. 
try and make every single rep quality like the first one. Big squeezes up front. There we go, you guys, good job. And time. All right, guys, so we have a little bit of time to rest here. About 10 seconds now, let's go ahead and find the hands and the knees. We got the primal press coming up and this is the one where it's basically just a quadruped plank, a hand and all fours plank. All right, here we go. Hands planted, knees planted. Let's push down through the toes. We'll find that starting position. Now we're just staring at the ground. The core is tight. Take a moment to readjust if you need to. Again, guys, as you go through this workout, if you're feeling like I just got to take a little bit of a rest or I just need some water right now, just need to reset, go ahead and do so, even if it's not during our resting time. My general rule of thumb is try and take two or three breaths and then we're right back into it, giving our nervous system and our cardiovascular system just a brief moment to try and recover a little bit and time there we go let those knees down everyone good job okay that is round one of part one we got two more just like it before jumping into part two let's find the ground bridge marching coming up next all right guys here we go let's drive those heels let's get those hips up and now we march keep that tummy nice and tight you guys Imagine we got a plate of our favorite food trying to balance on the front of those hips. If we let one hip dip too low, one get too high, our plate of food is gonna slide off. Remember contact with the ground and should just be upper back and then the heels. We're driving down through those heels are really isolating the hamstrings and working those glutes as well. Those muscles that extend the hip. Good work, everyone. We got about 10 seconds left. Keep those toes up. Core is tight. Good job, everybody. And time. Slowly let those hips down. Good work. Okay. Crunch is coming up next. We're going to try and keep the feet planted. I know that's one of the harder parts. We just want to tug those feet up. Do the best you can. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job. Good job, you guys. Quality reps here, string a few together, take a break, take a moment, reset. I don't know, maybe you guys are out there, rock stars. You guys are just nonstop with the crunches. We got about 15 seconds to work. Just trying to isolate kind of those six pack muscles for lack of a better term right here in front, bottom of the rib cage, let's keep going. and time well done you guys okay let's find the hands and the knees up next is that primal press good job everyone okay three two one here we go time to go remember those hit or knees want to be right under the hips hands right under those shoulders you got a nice flat back essentially we're not pushing too hard through the palms so that our back rounds, we want to keep the core really tight, like we're bracing for impact. Our upper leg bones, those femurs are pointed straight down at the ground. They're not bent too much through the knee. We're almost done here. Good job, you guys. Staring contest with the ground. A few more seconds. And time, there we go. Nicely done. Okay, we're coming on to our final round here of part one. After this, we're just gonna go straight into that part two. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, bridge with the marching. Here we go. So we're driving down through those heels. Glutes squeeze them one at a time. That leg is gonna come up. Make sure we can pause at the top and feel nice and solid. We're driving down through that singular heel. Tummy's tight again, like we're bracing for something. We should feel maybe some hamstring, but definitely some glute squeeze. And if you're not feeling it, use one of those hands to give your hip a little bit of a tap. 
you should feel that glute start to, to turn on, just squeeze, holding our hips up here. Good job, everybody, good job. Almost done. And time, let's let those hips down nice and easy. Well done, everybody. Okay, crunch is coming up next. Plant the feet, let's take a breath. Three, two, one, here we go. Good job, guys, good job. Every time we do this one, even though it's probably not anyone's favorite, we're making a better connection to those core muscles here in front. Let's keep it moving. Remember, don't use those arms, don't throw those arms forward in order to compensate, in order to get yourself up a little bit higher. I'd rather you guys be barely getting up off the ground, but just really isolating what's in front here. Let's do a couple more. And that's time. All right, you guys, we're on to the primal press. Next up, this is the last time we're going to do it. Then we're going to jump straight into part two after 15 seconds. Here we go. All right, three, two, one. Let's find that primal press. Shoulders away from the ears. Staring contest with the ground. Lots of tension throughout the body here, you guys. Try and distribute that weight evenly through those hands and the feet. Breathe through it, you guys. Stay with me here. Well done, everyone. Keep it going. Almost done. And time. There we go. That's it for part one, you guys. We're going to be on our backs to start first two movements of part two, round one. So it's going to be that hollow and then the heel taps. Let's find the ground again. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hollow isometric. So we're going to get our core really tight, gluing our whole back to the ground. It's going to extend those legs and those arms away making sure that this is a place where we can solidly hold our low back to the ground. Good job, you guys, good job. Breathe through it, take little breaks as needed. I want it to be challenging, I want it to be quality. And at the same time, this is really hard to do for an extended period of time. We're just building ourselves up each session. Good work, everybody. That is time. All right, we get to stay on our backs here and rest for a moment. What we're going to be doing is the heel taps up next. Similar concept, gluing our back to the ground. We're going in three, two, one. Let's bring those legs up, starting position, moving one hip at a time. Remember, all that movement comes from the hip. We shouldn't be bending the knees at all to help that foot touch the ground. Imagine we got a cast around our bent knee. It's not going anywhere. We're just moving from that hip. Good, glue that back to the ground. And this one burns. Good work, everybody, good work. Almost done here, guys, five seconds. Good, and time. Nicely done. All right, you guys, so we gotta find the other side of our bodies. Now we're gonna be doing our plank with rotation up next here. We're gonna get started here in three, two, one, plank with rotation. All right. So we wanna replace those hands right in the same spot that we found them each time as we rotate. Sometimes it really helps to have a mat or a space that maybe shows exactly where your handprint was. It makes it easy on us to really put it right back in that same spot so we can get consistent support. 
Good job, you guys. Try and open up those hips each side as much as you can, no matter what version you're doing. We're almost done here. And time. Well done, you guys, well done. Okay, we got two more, more rounds just like that. Home stretch, final six minutes. Let's see what we got. Hollow ISO coming up next in five seconds. This is a, definitely a tough one. All right, let's get it going. Remember, it's a position that we want to be able to breathe in. Maybe it might, might not be easy to breathe in that, but we still want to be able to breathe. Can't be holding our breath. Break it up into little sets here, you guys. We want it to be quality. We want to go for as much as 45 seconds as possible. Best answer is to break it up. Good work, everybody. Good work. We got a couple seconds left and time. Good job, everybody. Okay, we're staying on our back once again. It's the heel taps up next. We get started with those here in three, two, one. Let's get those hips up. Of course, tight gluing our low back to the ground. It's just one hip at a time that we're moving. Don't move that other hip until the first one gets all the way back up into that starting position. Good job, you guys, good job. Don't let up on that tension. If you do, take just a quick break, quick moment. Deep breath, find that good position again. Good, there we go. Good job, you guys. Less than 10 seconds. Bear with me. Come on. And time. There we go. Second to last time we got to do that one. All right, you guys. It's the plank with rotation coming up. Remember, hands planting into the same spot. We're going to go in three, two, one. Here we go. Open up. Look past that hand. Pushing away from the ground. Keeping that core really tight. So we're trying to keep our bodies nice and straight as we rotate. Also getting a lot of good shoulder work here. I love this movement because it forces our shoulder blades to slide about the back of the rib cage. Just get into multiple positions. Good work, everybody. Good work. We got less than 10 seconds to go. Good. Each rep, we're getting better. Might be getting tired as well, but we're getting better. And time. Woo. All right. Solid burn we got going on, guys. Last round coming up. Final three minutes now. It's the hollow, the heel taps, and the plank with rotation one last time. Here we go. Let's get into that hollow position. Remember guys, challenge yourself, but still make it quality. This is the final three minutes. Don't wanna go into the rest of the day thinking that we had a little more juice, or a little bit more energy, or a little bit more willpower to give to this workout. Wanna walk away satisfied. Getting 1% better every day. Did this workout make you better? That is up for you guys to decide. Keep pushing. And time. Well done, everybody. All right, heel taps up next. Final two minutes. Here we go. Still breathing, still resting. Three, two, one. Now it's time to tap those heels. Strong exhales will help here, guys. One hip at a time, still moving just like that. Good job, you guys. Good job. Keep working. Take little breaks as needed. 
I know it's burning. I know we're at the end of the workout. We've got a lot of stuff on our menu today, but we got less than 10 seconds to go. By now, it doesn't really matter what we're doing. It's just that we're doing it and it's quality. We're pushing through and time. All right, guys, let's find our plank position. Again, this is the final thing that we have to do before we're cooling down here. Let's make it look good. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Here we go. Good job, you guys, good job. Even if we're moving a little bit slower, I'd rather us be slow and meticulous. Just being real sticklers about the form. Each rep, we're just improving. Maybe gaining access to more shoulder muscles. Wanna feel lots of squeezing around those joints. Good job, you guys, doing our best here. Final 10 seconds coming up. Good, there we go, you guys. Almost done. And time. Nicely done, you guys, nicely done. Okay, we're in our final 15 second rest period. Take a moment, stand up. Do what you need to do if that's walk around the room. Grab some water, just shake it all out. Maybe it's just lay on the ground and breathe. All right, whatever that may be, you guys, starting now, we're starting to calm the body down. We just stressed ourselves out a little bit. Now it's time to bring ourselves back to that state we were in probably before this workout, breathing a little bit easier. Body's feeling a little bit calmer. All right, so cool down. Let's go ahead and get into prone position. So that means we're all the way down on our stomachs, lying down in our space. And for this one, you guys, we wanna keep the front of our hips connected to the ground. So from the waist down, we're not gonna move really. I want us to start with those hands planted up around head level, maybe even a little bit higher. We're gonna keep those hips connected to the ground, push through those arms, and push ourselves up into a nice light cobra pose. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you guys, you guys can come down and rest on the elbows. We can also move the hands a little bit further up overhead so that when we press up, we're not pressing up ourselves as high. But if you can get into this position, or even if you're just hanging out on those elbows, let's take a couple nice deep, breath, deep breaths in. We're going to feel all those core muscles up front at least start to stretch out to lengthen out after we just shorten them a lot or at least practice shortening them a lot. Good job, you guys. Let's do one more here. Then on that X so we can slowly let ourselves back down towards the ground. Take a moment on the ground here just to make sure that everything came back down into place. So that's fine. And from here, we're going get to get ourselves up take a moment and we're going to find that hip flexor position. So one knee down on the ground, one foot out in front to support us. Really want to stretch out those hip flexors. We were just using them a lot. Let's go ahead and squeeze that glute of whatever knee that we have on the ground back there. We're going to pull the belly button in towards the spine a little bit and then push those hips forward just to find a medium hip flexor stretch. I'm already also feeling it in the quad here as well. Just a light stretch here, you guys. The best time to stretch a muscle is right after some serious contractions. Good job, you guys, good jobs. It may, it may feel a little bit tighter right now, it may not feel like the loosest muscle ever, but this is the best time to stretch it. It's gonna be the most receptive to lengthening out again, based on what's happening at the chemical level deep down within our bodies. Good job, you guys, do one more breath. Excellent work. All right, let's shift those hips back. We're going to switch it up so other knee is down. Get our support leg out in front now. Same deal. We're going to squeeze the glute. Bring the, the abs in a little bit or the, the belly button in towards the spine, and then we can start to push those hips forward. Be wary of staying super upright during the stretch, you guys. I'd rather a little bit have a little bit of a forward lean going on because if we stay really upright, it starts to dump a lot of tension structurally into our lower back. 
we want to avoid that and stretch out the hip flexor as much as we can to keep that low back healthy. So slightly lean forward, just keeping those shoulders over the front of the hips is my best recommendation. Let's do a couple more breaths to keep that glute squeeze. Good, one more. Well done, you guys. All right, we can slowly come out of that position. That is all the time I have left for the session ending right on time today. Thank you guys for joining. Once again, Coach Luis here. And if you guys are planning on joining for Thursday's session, I've now taken over Coach Brittany's abs and core session on Thursday. So join me for that similar workout. We're going to be getting those six packs twice as fast. All right. <laughs> I will see you guys in that next session. Take care out there.